bet that bridge looks familiar. There's the Westin, but th that is not the hotel we're looking at here. That's right, we're back at the Marriott Copley Place. I stayed here New Year's Eve, if you remember. But since then, a lot's happened. Let's go in and take a tour. Here's the valet. The parking is still the same. You go on the left if you want the self, or the right if you want valet parking. Self does not give you in and out, by the way. Let's go through this revolving door. Come right into the lobby. So off to the left, you have an Old Town Tour ticket desk. Here's your concierge. There's the front desk. You have this nice little sitting area with an atrium here in the lobby. Here's the elite check-in for Marriott members. Over here is the elevator bank. By the way, D is broken, by the way. It's turned off. Something. Down here is where the ballet parking is located. Another sitting area. And then, um, then there's um, some news playing back there. You can change the channels, I'm pretty sure. Or here's the elevators again. Another path. Restrooms are over in the elevator bank, too. Looks like there's a UMass thing going on in there, so we're not going in, but last time we were here, it was closed. Up here is where the executive offices are located. Um, service elevator and accounting. All the way at the end of the hallway. Valet parking. Here's the cashier for the valet. And in there is the garage for the valet with the valet elevators. That being said, we're gonna go upstairs and tour the second floor. On these beautiful Kone escalators. I'm assuming they were replaced in 2018. Here's a better look at the front desk. When you get off the escalator, you got the M Club. Bathrooms. Back in there is the Starbucks. Looks down to the lobby. We have a little gift shop where you can buy various different goodies. Over here is the yard house, which is the restaurant at the hotel. So this is pretty much the restaurant level. There's construction going on back here. This is where the entrance to the mall would be, but there's also another entrance to the mall over here. We're gonna take a look at the self parking deck, which is in the mall. So here's the sky bridge that goes over to the Prudential Center Mall. And up here is the Copley Place Mall. There's the Westinghouse elevator. There's an entrance, or there's an exit to outside. I don't really want to spend time on the escalators. Now here we are in the mall, I'm gonna to have to talk over the music, I don't want copyrighted, so. But anyway, there's another pair of escalators, I guess here's Schindler. This is a very high-end mall. You can tell by all the stores. And by Tiffany. Very high-end mall. Especially the fact that there isn't even Marcus all the way at the end of this. And the elevators to go to the parking garage are off to the right. We're gonna take a look at the parking garage all the way at the end to the west end. And uh, there's a there's um a train station for the orange line all the way at the end. Um you would go right and go down the escalators to get there. That being said, we're gonna go down and take a look at the parking garage. These are Schindler 5500 elevators. All right, we're gonna go to um, P1.
here we are on P1. So yeah, this is what the parking deck looks like. I'm just gonna exit the elevator bank. Over here is where you pay. If you wanna use cash, you gotta go to the second floor of the garage. Here's the garage. This is also for the mall, but hotel guests can park here. The parking itself is 42. Anyway, we're gonna go back up and go back to the hotel. The hotel is on the M1, by the way. They're 5500s. Trying to make sure it doesn't start flickering. Here we are on M1. There it goes. There's a Saks Fifth Avenue store. This is pretty much like the whole intersection of the, the hotel. Like this whole thing crosses through the hotel. And again, the West End is all the way down there. I'll show you where the train station is, but we're not going into the train station. Yeah, you see where those escalators are? Like, there's um, there's another sky bridge to the west end over there. The MBTA is down there. We're gonna head up to the third floor. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to. I don't think we'll be able to fully tour level three or four, but I'll be able to point my camera down the hallways, or at least show the elevator banks. There's a Starbucks, by the way, right outside the hotel. Okay. The mall is 24 hours, by the way. Um, the stores are not open 24 hours, but you can walk through the mall any time of day you want. into the hotel. You know, we're gonna head right up to floor five toward the pool and the fitness center. Well, there's one thing I forgot here. It's the FedEx office business center, which is, um, which is accessible at those times. The business center, I'm putting in my tour. In here you got the copy machine, two computers, a printer, FedEx shop shipping supplies, and then if that's where you go to ship your things out. So by the way, artisan group destination dispatcher leaders DSC. I don't know if there's, I would go to the fifth floor, however, however, or the third or fourth floor, however, I don't know if there's anything going, going on. Up. Here we are on floor five. Floor five. Here it goes. So here on the fifth floor, over here you have the gas laundry and then sales and stuff in the Massachusetts meeting room over there. We're gonna take a look at the guest laundry first. That's where the service elevators are. And here's the guest laundry. The uh, laundry the laundry is not free. But you can, um, the laundry is, the washers are free, but 
if you need shampoo, or if you need a, not shampoo, but if you need detergent, you have to pay. That's kind of where they get your money, but there's that serious laundry. So you don't, it's no coin or no nothing. You bring your own detergent, you can wash clothes for free here. However, most people probably won't be bringing laundry soap, considering that most people are gonna fly into the city. In here is the fitness center and the health club, which I can get in here with my key card. In here is the fitness center. Up there you got a spectacular view of Boston. Down there is um, Huntington Avenue. And there's the pool. So you have a bunch of ellipticals. There's a bunch of them over there and then a bunch of treadmills. Like six or seven exercise bikes. And you got more up here. Also where the weights are. Here are the weights. Got more ellipticals and more bikes. And you, this weird looking elliptical. And here is the pool. And this door is alarmed at 11 p.m. to 5.30. Surprised they wouldn't just time a magnetic lock. There's the pool, very nice. I'm surprised they wouldn't just put a retractable roof up there. Here are the locker rooms. There's the emergency phone. Here are the towels. Over here is the accessible entrance to the health club and the swimming pool. And any key can work. You don't need just a, you can use any key to get in here. You don't need just a, um, a key card for the pool. You don't need just a key card for an accessible room to use that. Any key will get up, get up there. Anyway, we're gonna try and tour floor four, but I don't know if we'll be able to. We'll try though. Car C. There's car H here. Car D is down, obviously, unfortunately. And then if this is closed, we'll go up to 37, which is where my room's located. down. I don't know if we'll be able to tour floor four, but if we can't, we'll just go right to 37. Floor four. Yeah, we can't really tour, but there's events going on there. Is what the elevator looks like. Pretty much all that's on this floor is meeting rooms. Anyway, with that being said, let's go up to 37. Um, I don't want to tour floor three, but we're, let's just... Anyway, that being said, let's go up to 37. Car I. My room is on 37. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? These elevators take forever to come. Second car I forever to arrive. It's lit up, so we know it's coming, but where is it? Assuming if it called car G H or I, or G H or J would already be here by now. You can get your ball 
politics. You can get your politics in the elevator lobby too. Mm, where is car I? These need to be faster in my opinion. These elevators really do need to be faster. I should have just, I probably shouldn't be waiting on this. Up here it comes, I hear it. I'll probably edit out most of the waiting because this is probably the longest waiting for the elevators here. Morning. You're waiting with me, huh? Filming a property tour for YouTube and I think it's, these things are slow. Marriott Marquis, they go up to 27, they're like twice the speed. New York City. And then, and here it is. Saw the lantern flash. Floor four, going up. So, how are you enjoying your stay? Like us too. I'm assuming this car has some type of power problem because the lights keep flickering. Going up. I'm in room thirty seven forty five. You're on thirty seven. Destination indicators. Floor thirty seven. Oh, and on every, on not every floor, but mostly every floor, you have ice and beverages. Pepsi machine. There goes car I, by the way. Anyway, I am in room 3745, down this hallway. Anyway, before we go in, let's take a look at the view. There's a Prudential Tower. There's the shops at Prudential Center. There's the highway. If you can, if I can, um, because it's so foggy, but there's the Encore, you can barely see it. 110 Huntington, I think is what that is. There's the Prudential Tower with the new view up top. You can see the, um, the outdoor observatory a little bit. Anyway, bam, here's my room, 3745, let's check it out. It's gonna be a room tour of the Marriott Copley place from 3745. Let's come on in and check this thing out. First of all, security features, you have a magnetic latch. And you have this that turns off the key card lock. In here is the closet. Here you have a Keurig coffee maker. Put the water in. Closet. You got a safe, which I'm gonna demonstrate. There you have it. Down here is your refrigerator. Clean. Really nice. Far. 
Over the side you got an um, iron and an ironing board and your hangers. And in here you have the um, bathroom. Turns on when you enter. Hi, there I am. There is your beautiful shower. You have toilet, Kohler, Bellstone sink. Oh boy, there is my watch. You have a Bellstone sink with a Moen faucet, which I'm seeing all over Marriott. You also have this close up mirror. There I am in like 30 degree world, or like 30 D world. You have a beautiful shower with a with a um, extra sprayer, apparently. And then you have shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. In here is the main portion of the room. I'm gonna get a still here. Here, over here is the TV with Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora. Over here is the thermostat, which I'm gonna put that at seventy. And then over here, you got the two beds, obviously. And you got a little sitting area right here, or a little rack for your luggage. You got a desk over there. And you got kind of a corner window. There is the Charles River out there. Prudential Tower. Up there is the view that I recently went up. My video is already out. Out there, you can see more into the Seaport District and the other parts of the city. But, um, you got 110 Huntington, I don't know what that is. Then the state capitol is right there. The TV, by the way, is a 55 inch LG. And your cable box is back here. Anyways, just to show you guys that the bathroom does actually lock. Mm -hmm. I've, I already did a full hotel tour of this place, so I don't really need to go into much more detail. Well, I will be making a new full hotel tour, but for now. Also, you got cups and your towels are all down there. Here is the remote for the TV. And there it is. I'm going to go TV guide. Trying not to show the name. But you have all your news. They got you got Fox and all the good stuff, like Home and Garden, however, they don't have the channel I like to really watch. Unfortunately, but they do have the history channel and other good stuff like that. And here's your ice pot, and if you want, um, and you got waters, and I don't know if they're free for Marriott members, I'll put it on the screen if they are, but anyway, let's take one last look at the room, very nice, again, I'm really happy with the renovations they did here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and that's gonna be it.